Hello and welcome to another starter video. My name is Stefan Eriksson and today we're going to be getting a brief look at log files. So first of all, what is a log file? A log file is simply for you to keep, well, a log of everything starter have produced. In other words, you can make starter write everything that comes out in the starter result window in a text file or a more spe starter specific format. I'm going to be showing two different formats today. Just like usual, this is not the only way to do it, but this is the way I find most convenient to do things. So, of course, if you have a better way, please uh, share the information with me in the comment section below. I prepared a little test do file here. And in this do file, as you can see, we just cleared out here. We set in a current directory. We're loading in the system auto data, which is one of the Stata example data sets. We run a simple linear regression, and then we save an auto to data set. Suppose now, I want to show all the output from these lines here and save them and send them to say a colleague of mine. What you would do here is that you would of course specify first what would your log file be. So you always would have to start with say log using and then you would have to say well what is the name of the log that I want to be using. So for instance I can just call it my log file then the file will be saved under that name. And of course I can use, for instance, a text format extension. So it's just a simple text file. I like to add the option here, replace, because suppose I rerun this code a second time, startup will give an error because there's a file with the same name in this current folder. Remember my folder is currently my startup videos folder here. One more thing you have to keep in mind when you're making a log file, just as this one, is you always have to close the log at the end of your file or wherever you want to close the log, right? Normally you would do it at the end of your file because typically you want to show everything. But of course, if you want to show a little less, you just put this log close command anywhere earlier in the text. So for instance, if I would run all this here, you see, of course, all the output comes out of my start to output window just like this. And you can see here, I have a log file here that opens here produces all the results that I would expect. So I run my regression, load my data and so forth. I save it again. And you see here my log closes and it even gives me a time from which I closed my log. So indeed you can even see when I made this video. Haha, <laughs> interesting. And of course, now I can go and see how does my log actually look. So if I open my uh, starter videos folder here, I can simply just see, okay, I have something called my log file. And we see indeed here, this is all the text that come up in my log file. This doesn't look very user friendly to read and it's actually, well, very difficult for anybody to read. So let's close that again and try with a different format, shall we? So if I go back to starter here, and now I will use a different extension called SMCL. And then of course, by using this file extension, I should get a better file version from which would open in starter and show a better log something that's at least easier to see. As you can see, my log file pops up here and I can go here and open this log file. And now I can see everything in a much nicer overview here, what I have produced. So again, log files simply just captures everything you have in your starter window, just like we have here, and transfer and puts it into a text file or a file of a different format you would like. You, have record, you can of course investigate for yourself if there's different file formats you want, but here I've shown you two file formats, one being the text and one being the SMCL file. So of course you can use either one, that is perfectly fine. But I would of course try to use SMCL and simply make a print after that in that window because that is way easier to read. So of course I can use a comment just to comment this out and I can rerun my command. And indeed, why can I rerun it without issues? Because I used comma replace here. This is the simplest way how a log file will work. And I hope you find this video interesting and hopefully you found it useful. With that said, my name is Stefan Eriksson and until next time.